forward. He had an incredible performance. All right. I yeah, I, I like that. <laughs> hey, Connor's back. Oh, great. Just in time for the Galaxy game. Yeah, we could use all the help we can get. Yeah, he's back, but he's with someone else. I don't know who it is. It's really weird, kind of freaky. You got to come see this. Come on. Hey guys, have a good All-Star week? Yeah, uh, it, it was good, I guess. Too short, y you know how it is. Totally, yeah, totally. Anyway, since my long extended break was during a, such an important week like El Trafico and all, I thought that I wanted to show you guys how motivated I was to help LAFC win. That wouldn't have anything to do with the hooded person sitting next to you, would it? Oh yeah, yeah, I thought you'd never ask. Okay, so during my break, I watched this really good documentary about this team in England, AFC Richmond, and they had a coach and they defied all the odds. So I thought that LAFC could use a little bit of AFC Richmond magic, so I got us a secret weapon. Doc documentary? Oh no, Connor, you didn't. Welcome, Danny Rojas to the club, everyone. He's gonna help LAFC get back on track. Connor, that's Cristo Fernandez. He's an actor. Thank you. I've been trying to tell him that I just play a character on Ted Lasso. Season two airing now on Apple TV Plus. Connor, you really, you really need to listen to him. He is an actor, not a soccer player. Well, back home in Mexico, I was pretty good. I used to play professional. You're not You're helping, helping Cristo. I know that you had good intentions by bringing Cristo here, but you've really got to let him go. And on second thought. You should actually probably lay low for a little bit because you're probably wanted for kidnapping. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I just hate the galaxy so much, you know? I just, just wanted to help. It's okay, amigo. This happens more than you think. But if you can tell me how to get out of here, we can pretend this never happened. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure thing, Danny. I, I mean, Cristo, um, exit's right over there. Okay. I understand your love for LAFT. I love them too. <clears throat> Welcome to a star-studded 110 football episode. It's a big week for us here. It's a big week for Los Angeles, a big week for the club. Obviously, there's a little rivalry happening, but you know who I think had the biggest week, and that's why I'm glad you're here, Haley, is Angel City FC. Can you fill us in on all the details of your huge week? We did have a big week a little over a year into this, and we finally announced our head coach, Freya Coombe. She's joining us from Gotham FC, which is the New York, New Jersey team in the NWSL, as well as the biggest news we have oh, this finally we have finally announced our first player signing is Kristen Press she's coming home we're so excited to have CP23 here she is a member of the US women's national team and we cannot wait to have her on the field here hey she's going to be playing in the bank too ooh i can't wait Kristen Press is an incredible player yeah. CP23 nice ring to it sounds really good Unfortunately, what doesn't have a nice ring to it is LAFC highlights as of late. So let's just take a look at these highlights against Vancouver and get this over with. I was trying to bring the mood up. Maybe if we do it in like a happy voice, something yeah. different will happen. I mean, look at that pink kit. It's my favorite. We'll, we'll get you one. We'll get you one. Okay, so it was actually a pretty good start, but they couldn't score. And then uh, a bit of luck. Yeah. Did you think it was a penalty? Oh, Vince, I'll let you take that one. It's a penalty because he's <laughs> shooting it and he's scoring it. I mean, he buried that. For a guy that, like, was missing everything, that's a pretty confident. I really thought that Rossi was going to get on a roll after that. Same. I really did. Unfortunately. Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't the case. Vancouver found their footing. I think Tomas could do a little bit better. Everyone could do better there. Let's just say, let's just put it on everyone. Right, everyone right. can do better there. 63rd. This is this was the, the story of the night. Well, this one, this moment, it it felt just, all right, things are not going to go our way. In that moment, LAFC did not feel like they were going to win. not fair to have a ghost as a goalkeeper to the balls out. Facts. Uh, 
and yeah. then. Yeah, this is the way, you know, you lose focus after you've been pushing and pushing and pushing, and that's, that's what teams will do to you when you leave them that close. It's just, it's a feeling that's just become so redundant at this point. I'm, I'm numb, I'm numb to it. You're numb to it. You're kind of like that handshake between Marcus and Bradley. Yes. <laughs> uh, here's the standings. And okay, that's the first we're not, page. Yeah, we're not on the, we're not Someone's on the missing. And yeah. there they are. So ninth. Yep. Okay, I'll try to bring the mood up. There's, there's six points that separate fifth and 11th. Right. So that means that you can easily move up with a couple wins. I'm trying. I'm trying. Seeing, I mean, seeing San Jose as well as Minnesota on that first page, those, those games, those matches, like they just feel that much darker now. I no, tried like to bring just the mood knowing. Up. I'm sorry, you're right. You're yeah, right. Let's you, just did. Move on. you did. You did. You did. Ooh, you know, Vince, we can really only go up from here. You know what? You're right. I'm glad you're here. LAFC is gonna bounce back. Yeah, except I was kind of talking about this show because we have some awesome content coming your way. Cannot wait for everyone to see it, but Jay, let the people know what, they're, what they got coming up. It's All-Star Week, fam, and we got a special All-Star Week show just for you. Crystal is apparently dropping the kidnapping charges complete and hanging with Haley, Vince, and Connor in the fan cave and picking players to watch ahead of El Trafico. Then the homies from the 718, the Cooligans, teach us how to trash talk New York style, son. Finally, Eli is back to talk about leftovers. Okay. Um, speaking of leftovers, I had a torta in the fridge and someone vaporized that shit. Vince, do you have anything to say about that? Well, Jay, you know I got a thing with fridges. I don't go near those things. Hmm. Likely excuse. I guess I'll just take this over for yeah, you. Yeah, I guess so. Max Bredos is normally somewhere in paradise doing something I don't know about, but this week... He's in L.A. because he was at the MLS All-Star game where LAFC did some work, leading the MLS All-Stars to a penalty victory. So check out an All-Star edition of Maxin and Relaxin. 2021 Liga MX MLS All-Star game, we will call it that, is completed. We didn't know what to expect. Would it be intense? It was. Would it be well attended? Yes. And the game ended 20 minutes ago, no one's leaving. The highlight without question. Went to a penalty shootout. Where did it occur? The North End. The 32-52 behind it. Matt Turner, my MVP. Doesn't have to be everyone's. Incredible. The LAFC players, Eduardo Tuesta played well. Diego Rossi almost scored. And yes, Jesus Morillo scored the goal that forced the extra time. So MLS has won it. Liga MX. The ball is in your court. We welcome you back next year. Let's do it again. Did you have fun? We had fun. The people had fun. This, this changes the All-Star Game setup. I've been to many of them, but never one quite like this. I don't want the night to end, but it's gonna have to end sometime. It's gonna have to end you right now. Next year, 2022, and a site to be determined. I was really hoping for some famous Max Bredos air guitar. You know, he was at GNR and really put on a show. I heard he was better than Slash. Just mm -hmm. some, just what I heard. <laughs> uh, but we're gonna keep rolling with the star power. Cristo has decided to stick with us. Christo, I, I do apologize again for, for Connor, so thanks for sticking around. Oh, thank you guys. It happens. <laughs> no, it doesn't happen. But <laughs> doesn't really happen, No, right? it doesn't really happen, but thank you guys for inviting me, and it's good to be here. Well, Christo, I got I to gotta take the first question right off the top, because I know you were at Kimmel this week, and you were on with Niall, and he was asking you about your professional career, and that's great, but I got to know the real details, man. Like, what position did you play? What type of player were you? Like, who did you style yourself after? I need to know the real soccer details. Okay, so, um, well, I used to play um, right or left midfield. I was pretty good at going all the way in the field and running lots. And, 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 but I, I was, was better at passing than scoring, but sometimes I also played as a striker, which I enjoy. Um, and yeah, I played back home in Estudiantes Tecos, Guadalajara. Um, I didn't reach the first division, but I was in second division training with the first team. And um, then I played a bit in Puerto Rico too. And the idea was to come to MLS, but then the new goals with acting and filmmaking happened. So here we are now. We could have had you at LFC. Well, who was your, who yeah. was your, who was like the player that, like you fashioned your game after? I, I always loved uh, Ronaldinho. I grew up watching him, and and it's just the 
charisma he had and, and the joy for playing the game. And like, I think he's one of a kind. Of, and yeah, he's for me my hero for when I grow up. Hey, that's a pretty good one. But you've said that your mom and your grandma always talked about you loving the game. Football was your life. And then you got this interview and this audition with Ted Lasso where you actually brought that to fruition. Tell us about that and how you actually made Football is Life a part of the show. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, I found out about that uh, the other day that we had a Q&A <clears throat> and um, they were saying, yeah, that's all Chris's idea. And I was like, was it? And I, and, <laughs> and yeah, just take credit. Just well, take I, yeah, I didn't say anything, but I was like, hmm. And I went and took a look at my self tapes and video castings and I saw that uh, not only we did I did the scenes, but they also wanted me to talk about my experience in life. And that's when I said, yeah, well, football is life because, <laughs> and they just grabbed that. And then they took that for the, the character and, and, and the audition, I also come up with the Danny Rojas song. Um, so I think they liked some stuff and, which funny enough, they ended up giving me the role of a guy from Iceland. I don't know if you guys know, but but they made it Danny Rojas Mexican, and I'm, I'm happy and grateful for that. Yeah, we're, we're happy that that's a much better storyline. <laughs> yeah, thank you. So we know that you know football is life, but do you know who else knows that football is life? The LAFC fans. Yes. And you had the True. pleasure of attending a couple LAFC games, yeah. and so you've you've seen the fans in the stadium. How do you like the the 3252 and the, the LAFC fans so far? Uh, honestly, I'm, I'm very impressed, and and we were talking that it's. I mean, it's crazy to think that this team has been probably like five years. Not even five. Yeah. Almost. And, uh, like and all this infrastructure and, and like and I'm really impressed that the the fans. Like I feel. There's lots of emotions, good vibes at the stadium. The fans are amazing, and the team is is great. And and, and yeah, and like many songs, I, it feels like a real stadium. From, and, and that's because back home in Mexico, well, football is huge, and I and that experience I can have it as well here in, in, in the LAFC stadium. Do you have a favorite LAFC player yet? Well, I mean, Carlos Vela is my <laughs> is our guy, is our captain, but. Um, yeah, I mean, I just hope he gets soon, he recovers soon from his injury and um, and he helps us win. And I hope Chicho Arango does it well too. He's, he's new, but I, I think he can he can deliver lots of stuff. He has lots of talent. He really does. And you know, so I also have to ask. Speaking of favorite players here, we're gonna we're gonna exclude Danny from this conversation. Okay? okay. So who is your favorite character on Ted Lasso, and why is it Roy Ooh. Kent? Oh, that's a tough one. I'm just kidding. Roy Kent's my favorite. You're gonna I, see I'm this. just going to throw it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's, just, it's hard because uh, I love Nate, Nate the Great. He has a great character uh, arc, and he has lots of emotions, and this season is going to be amazing. Um, but I, I just really love Roy Kent, too. Like, <laughs> it, it's just the spirit of, uh, it's just a healthy way of being angry, <laughs> which I think that's who he is. Like, it's just, uh, all that stress, letting it go and be cool. And, and I, lo I love that character, yeah. And Brett Gostin plays it amazingly, so, yeah. So we talked a little bit about LAFC fans, the players, the, the stadium. When you went to your first ever LAFC game, you know, it's a new experience. What was your favorite part about the game? Uh, well, no, the interaction with the fans, with the 3252, sure. like, they, they, it was insane because they took us, uh, both Brendan and I, they took us to the fans and just to sing some songs and just to hang out with the, the guys and and um, and then we were just there for like less than five minutes and they scored, LAFC scored and we were all like that <laughs> and we threw the beers and all the thing happened and so that was really really nice something I will remember it was really nice nice day cool moment. Well, I'm gonna remember that you said our captain so I feel like you're part of us you're part of the black and gold you're yes. Our Cristo, so you're the you're the fan. You're not just a fan. You're a supporter in LA's black and gold, right? Hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hundred percent. Well, thank you so much, Cristo. Uh, you know, as we've been talking about, LAFC has a big match coming up this weekend, big rivalry match yeah. against the Galaxy. So why don't we take a look? The last time these two teams played against each other. It's the LA Galaxy wearing white. It is LAFC wearing black. Get your 
Sato on the tar, cutting it into the middle. It's Del Sato. As you guys can see, we've got a lot of people on the set today, so not, let's not waste any time in getting to our players to watch. But before we do, I have to congratulate Rosanelli1921 on Instagram. She's got a Carlos Vela signed poster coming her way. There we go. Pop, pop. Yeah, yeah, congratulations. I mean, it's a pretty cool poster. It was I'm, cool. A, I'm a I got, little jealous. I got to hold it up. But like Vince said, it's that easy, everybody. Pick one player from each team and submit it to our social channels. That's 110 Football before kickoff, and you can win prizes like this. Oh my God. Team signed nice. flag. It is beautiful as we know, but all right, let's get to business. It's time for us to do our players to watch. And since Christo, you are our guest, we're gonna let you take it away. Who's your players to watch this week? Okay, well, I'll start with the LA, Gal LA Galaxy one. And I think Efrain Alvarez is my player to watch. I think he's on a good trajectory right now. I think he's he's been playing good with the national team and he has lots of possibilities to score. He's takes the free kicks. He's he's very talented dude and and and, um, and I think we're happy for him in, back home in, in Mexico. So I think he will give a great match. And with LAFT I think Chicho Arango. He's new in the team and um, it's time he scores. Yes. He he and he has lots to prove right now. I mean he has the pressure but I think in a good way as in like right now is the moment to really give it all and get all the fans and all the support, you know. Hey, you're going to be his good luck charm. I'm calling it. Luck charm. All right, Hopefully. Connor. Hopefully just for Chicho, though. But yeah, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. <laughs> Connor. So I will start with LAFC. Edward Atuesta is my player to watch. I think arguably, after Carlos Vela, he may be LAFC's best player. Had kind of an inconsistent season so far, so I think this match, he has a lot to prove. These Galaxy matches are always physical, especially in the midfield, so I think he can put on a very good performance. So, for the Galaxy, I have Sebastian Legit. Similar to LAFC, I think after Chicharito, he may be the Galaxy's best player. Again, the El Trafico matches are always physical in the midfield, and I think him and Atlas are gonna have a great game. Well, Connor, we do agree on one thing there. So my player to watch is Galaxy's Legit, but for all the reasons, of course, Connor said, but then also because Becky G, Becky his, G. his beloved, you know, she is also an Angel City co-owner. So I got to give her a shout out and that's kind of why I went with him. But on the LAFC side, I can't go with Villa as I normally do. So this week <laughs> I'm going with Sifu. He seems like the best option. And that is where I actually disagree with Connor and that I think he is the second best player on this LAFC Whoa. team. And I think he's been itching to get get us some points again. So big week for Sifu coming up this one. Yeah. I'll go last because I'm going to win. I have no connection to <laughs> any of these players. Uh, for the Galaxy, I have Kevin Cabral. The reason why I like Kevin Cabral is because he likes to just hang out near the, uh, near the halfway line and uh, attack space. So he's a good winger. He could get some points, maybe some assists. Uh, but he's a goal scorer for them. And then my other guy, I'm going with your guy. Chicho Arango, I agree with you. I think that uh, he's he's pressing a little bit, but I think he's figuring it out. We saw he's got a pretty good touch uh, in, mm -hmm. in terms of setting up his teammates, but I think you're right. This is the time that he scores. So Chicho is going to score, and I'm going to win. <laughs> All right, confident there. I mean, I don't really know how well that works out for you, but good luck to you as the rest of you guys and everyone else out there. Remember, get those submissions in before kickoff. But a big thank you to you, Christo. We're so happy that you're able to join us. And everyone here at 110 Football is going to continue watching you on Ted Lasso on Apple TV+. Plus. We're so appreciative of you. Thanks for being here. Thank you very much, guys. It's a pleasure. And before you leave, I have to ask you one very important question. OK. Would you rather be a chair or a table? Um, a table. Really? Yeah. And why? Well, I think it's bigger, stronger, has a better base. And I think, yeah, you can sit on the table too. <laughs> I mean, it's all about that base, right? No, no travel? Oh, God. Well, that's great because we asked Tristan Blackman the same question on this edition of Class of 21. Check it out. Would you rather be a chair or a table? Table. Why is that? I don't want to be sat on, bro. Cheeky said the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> 110 football in partnership with adidas all right everybody all-star week is over 
but we still got a lot of star power on this set today. Sorry, Connor, not talking about you. Uh, you know them, you love them from their world famous podcast and from their show on Fubo TV. It's the Cooligans. Yes. Uh, this come is on, huh? More claps. Yes. More claps. More claps. <laughs> All right. Connor, I'm going to need a little bit more energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A little bit Actually, more energy. Can we redo that in Connor? Mean it. Will you? <laughs> <laughs> really, boys, the reason why we brought you guys here is you're, you're NYCFC legends. That's right. Unfortunately, you guys already beat us this year, so we won't talk about yeah. that. Uh, but really, what we want you here for is uh, you guys, the game out there is trash talking. Mm. My boy Connor has seats right next to the opposing team bench, and I don't know if you guys know this, we play the Galaxy this weekend. So yeah. Oh, yeah. Trash talking. A couple people getting, have been talking about it. A couple yeah. people have been talking about it after the little All Star game. So stakes are high. My boy needs to show up. So I need you guys to give him the, the touch up, the New York, New Jersey touch up yeah. and make him ready for this. So we're gonna we're gonna throw a couple guys. I just hope someone cuts to the end of the video and it's just Connor with a knife duct taped to his hand. <laughs> <laughs> like, what went wrong? <laughs> In some places, what went right? <laughs> yeah. We're gonna start out hot. Yeah. Uh, number one man for the galaxy. Mm. This one, look, I think this one's hard because like he's actually good. So how do you approach this? Okay, so I mean, it's gonna be a little bit easier because he's not going to play, right? So that's yeah. really good as loose. <laughs> you know? <laughs> good. So if you're not playing, you know, I guess you can just yell, yeah, what, what is your injury? Or, you know, <laughs> you know, you don't really get them off their game, even if they don't need to be in the game. And you want to be like, dude, walk it off, right? Like, play <laughs> that walk it off is a good heckle for someone who is injured. Uh, so just keep Walk that it off. Mind. We found our way there. That is actually an incredible <laughs> heckle. You know, we typically don't want to heckle someone injured, but in sports, for some reason, <laughs> unlike society, it's, it's uh, exciting fun. Okay, let's go, let's, go, let's go to the next guy. We're warming up here. Jonathan oh, Dos Santos. I, I think you talk about that facial. I mean, the facial hair, look, I'm not understanding what happened to the chin. The yeah, chin didn't want no beard. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> it actually looks like the logo also of the Also, it really, like gets really around the nostrils tight, <laughs> yeah. too. I know Jonathan Dos Santos as the other one. <laughs> yeah. Which yeah. is tough to save with right. how good it is. But then, not. because you're a white dude, you're just going to be like, I mean Dos Santos. I mean Dos Santos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 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 From uh, uh, 18 plus to uh, a player that just barely turned 18, I believe. Yeah. And for an Alvarez. Efrain Alvarez uh, looks like he is about to have his communion, right? Uh, <laughs> just really sharp. He's in white, the, too. That's the hair that you have. Uh, it's uh, just well, well maintained. He, he has where I, where I grew up, we call that quince hair. It always looks like you're ready for your quince hair. <laughs> you know? Isn't the rumor is, I don't know if it's official that he picked. He picked Mexico. Okay. Yeah, yes. he did pick Mexico. It is official. Yeah. Captive. So then I guess you could just say, you know, you make a lot of mistakes. <laughs> I'm coming to the game today. You know what I mean? It's a little bit longer, but as he's walking down the tunnel, I think he hit him. So trash talking is a two-way street, though, guys. So mm -hmm. we need some help just in case people come at us. You know, sometimes there's some Galaxy fans at the stadium. Yeah. I don't know why, but they come to our stadium. It's, it's prettier. I don't like it. Uh, it's, they make the trek. Yeah, it's actually in Los Angeles. <laughs> it's probably where they live. So let's... He's a good one to try to get at. Mm. Um, also, so, one not playing. Yeah, how do you how do you uh, how do you hurt a man with those eyes? Uh, yeah, <laughs> how do you roast? Uh, you know the Los Angeles Lakers' greatest season ticket. Uh huh. You the know six I mean? man, <laughs> six man of the year. A man that will lower his hoop to eight feet so he can do a 360 dunk. He doesn't care about yeah. anything. Who among us has not? Right. The yeah. We uh, throw, throw the first stone. You're saying Carl Carlos is one of us. <laughs> yeah. Okay, next guy. Well, Brian Rodriguez. Uh -oh. uh oh. Another one. Another one that sometimes the jokes write themselves. I feel like you guys should just roast them. Yeah, day. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. This guy looks like he, th that's the look he gives you when you turn around and he's in the, in your room. You know what I mean? You're like, how did you get have to break into my house, dude? Well, I, I mean, heard what you said. No matter what, no matter what mistakes he can make, no matter which rooms he's in stalking people, <laughs> um, at least he looks good doing it. Yes, he does. Yeah, that is true. I was surprised yeah. when he posted a picture of himself getting a haircut because I thought his hair just doesn't grow. Like, it's just, dude. it stays like that. Just a, just a Lego piece. Yeah, right. Right. Well, that, I mean, that's it, guys. You did a great job. Connor, do you feel? You feel a bit more prepared? I feel good. I feel ready to get kicked out of the stadium. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> nice. We need that. You need you need selfie video of that. Okay. As the police <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. are escorting me out, the Cooligans told me to. <laughs> yeah, no, not after you get the hang <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> well, guys, Eli's segment is next. And since you guys put on such a show of trash talking, I normally do little jokes to Eli. I'm not going to do that this time, Eli. But next week, all bets are off, bro. So check out Eli's segment. Leftovers, my favorite. Why am I bringing up leftovers? Because the Colorado Rapids have built a roster of leftovers from other MLS teams and have become an elite club in the Western Conference over the last two years. Here is a list of key moves. Mark Anthony, K. 
Oops, must have added a comma. Mark Anthony K is the best example for the 110 audience because he was traded to Colorado from LAFC for one mil in allocation money. He lost his starting spot here, but since moving to Colorado, he's been terrific, playing high up the pitch and being an assist generator. Kellen Acosta, the former rising star of the FC Dallas Academy, fell out of favor in 2018 and was traded to the Rapids. Since then, he's been killing it for Colorado so much, he's gotten back into the USA first team. Sorry, Dallas, no take backs. Michael Barrios wasn't doing the business with FC Dallas either, so in 2020, he was replaced by some more youthful options and he landed in Colorado. Anyway, Barrios only leads the team in goals with five and also has four assists. That's not good, right? The list goes on and on with guys like Diego Rubio, Jonathan Lewis, Austin Trusty, Lala Sabubakar, and Keegan Rosenberry, all acquired via trades within MLS. Technically, it doesn't go on and on, but you know me and how I love the dramatic setup. These distressed assets or leftovers have made this team one of the best in the league. They currently sit at third in the West while playing two fewer matches than the two teams ahead of them and are fourth in the Supporter Shield race. Listen, no one is talking about them, but why? Well, I submit it's because they play in a smaller market. Don't believe me? I was watching a halftime show recently and cranky anchor come to life. Taylor Twelman refused to praise them and said, I'm not buying them yet. Sorry, Robin, their coach. You might not want to talk about them, Taylor, but I do. Well, come November, I think the Rapids might make some noise in the playoffs. Leftovers, my favorite. Well, thanks everybody. That was such a huge show. I almost don't want to end it, but I think we should thank a lot of people. The Cooligans, Connor was back. Jay was awesome. Who else should we thank you, from the show? Uh, Christo, duh. I mean, we kidnapped Football him. Football is life. Football is always life. And But that's not all. We have a big game still coming up this week. More massive... It's a big rivalry game. We barely have to say it, but yes, we are playing the Galaxy this week, and we will be there. We have the pre-show that's going to be on the LFC's app, the virtual tailgate, and then we'll be there afterwards. Max is going to be on the pre-show with me and Connor. Afterwards, it's me, Connor, and... Defenders of the Bank. Defenders, because you're out. Okay, Defenders are showing up. I know, you're a good luck charm. Allegedly. Yeah. I wasn't so good luck last week, but we'll just forget about that. We'll just leave that out. We want to thank everybody again. Jay, do we have any more celebrities we could get on the show soon, you think? I don't know, bro, but I don't know if you've been binge watching all the awesome shows on Netflix like I have. Uh, I mean, Twat the Handle. Can we get the cast from The Circle? Maybe the cast Ooh. from um, Ooh. Uh, hey, The Violin? I'm here for this. Wait, I am you said here for this. awesome shows. Hey, homie, are you a fan of 110 Football Show? Well, if you are, let us know. Hit that like and subscribe.